What's up guys, this is Matthew here with The Geeked and I have an unboxing of the Odyssey Air Dock. I wanted to show you guys this, I've been very very excited. This is Odyssey's first dock that uses AirPlay. You can also plug up peripheral devices via auxiliary, but this is the first that actually uses the uh, Apple Air technology, which means you can sync this up with your Wi-Fi network and any iOS device that is on that Wi-Fi network can play through this. It's very cool, very easy to set up, and let's go ahead and get to the box and let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, right out of the box, you got a handle and you have your little flap here. Let's go ahead and pull this back. I've actually played with one of these before in the store and they sound phenomenal. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other unboxings, um, I've also unboxed the lower east side speakers and the other um, audio uh, Odyssey dock, the one that actually has the 30 pin dock connector on there. This is completely wireless, it does not charge your iPhone or iOS device and as you can tell right away it's extremely small. So let's go ahead and set the main attraction to the side and see what goodies that Odyssey has included. Uh, you get an auxiliary cable here, 3.5 millimeter, and you also get a box. I'm assuming this is where the power brick is, and I am correct. So you get a power brick, and you get a, another auxiliary cable, and you also get a... Uh, this is the actual cable that plugs into the unit. Okay. And other than that, that's it. You get some uh, instructions here that show you how to set everything up, and a catalog of everything that it comes with. Let's go ahead and take a look at this paperwork because I know you guys really watched the video for the paperwork. And right here is the other audio dock that I unboxed a long time ago. This was probably one of my first videos that I did uh, back on uh, Gadget University. But here's the Lower East Side speakers that I reviewed a while back. These sound phenomenal. They're not as powerful as these two, uh, but they sound pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and give you some specs of the Air Dock. Um, like I said, it features AirPlay. Uh, you can stream music from your iOS device. You can also create a multi-room audio system so you can add more of these together. Uh, think of this kind of like a AirPlay Sonos kind of radio. Um, you can also use Odyssey EQ, uh, which is an app that allows you to, to uh, get like better sound out of your, your out of this. And um, it features Odyssey Bass XT, which is uh, has passive radiators for extended powerful bass. Now, I'm not too sure what that means. I'm not an audiophile, but I will tell you this. Odyssey has a very, very good track record with making uh, audio products. They placed them in uh, Jaguars, Aston Martins, um, Onkyo, uh, home entertainment systems. Also, in every Odyssey device that I've ever tested out, they've been able to somehow manage to maintain the same level of bass without distorting the music what I mean by that is I can crank this as high as I want to and not have to worry about the actual audio distorting that's very very good for me because I listen to a lot of hip-hop a lot of R&B uh, some you know dance dubstep and all that other stuff so let's go ahead and unbox this part the main attraction of the show I will stop rambling Along the bottom you have a USB port, I'm assuming to do like some kind of system upgrade if you ever need to. Uh, you don't need to plug this to a computer to, to uh, use, so it's completely wireless, well except the, power, except the power cord of course. And I just ripped off a uh, maintenance panel. <laughs> this thing is actually pretty heavy even though it's very very small. So um, it's, you don't have to worry about it knocking over if you set it on like an end table or a side table or anything. You don't have to worry about any of that. So let's go ahead and look at the side. On the side, you can kind of see, in a weird angle, you can kind of see the uh, sub and the drivers. Along the top, you have your dial. If you press in, you can mute it. Um, this is the dial that you use to turn the audio up and down. So left, of course, counterclockwise will be down, and this will be up. You have two LED indicators here that let you know when it's connected to the wireless network and when it's not. Also, if it's on. There is no power button on this. It just kind of stays on, and then it times out whenever there's nothing going to it. So you got to kind of kind of watch that. Here's some kind of infrared receiver. There is no remote with this. Uh, I'm not sure why. I wish it did have a remote, but I'm sure this is used for something with the connectivity with the iOS devices. And here is a front auxiliary port to allow you to 
listen to the audio that is coming through this. And the back is where you have the input. So the front you have output, and the back you have input. Here's the power adapter well, where you plug in the power brick, and here's the um, input uh, auxiliary 3.5 port. This is the sync button. You're going to press and hold this to set up your AirPlay network. Basically what this does is you, the setup is pretty easy. You press and hold this button. It will create like a uh, network that is specific to uh, this device. You then use your computer to log into it and you set it up on your home network. So this has like a wireless utility built into it. Um, all you do is log into it and then you connect to a wireless network. Once that's done, you turn your phone on, connect to the wireless network, and you'll see a little AirPlay logo. I'll do a demonstration of this a little bit later on in the review, but for the most part, that's how you set it up. It's pretty easy. I may have made it sound too complicated, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see how this really sounds um, in my home rather than a store. You know, things always sound a little bit crazier in an open environment, but we'll see. Alright guys, this has been my unboxing. I will see you in my next video. As always, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And peace.